Hello all, I'm pleased to welcome you to this industry session provided to you by New Tech Innovation Today for Tomorrow. I'm uh, Lufil Plessar, I'm a field application engineer at uh, New Tech, and uh, I'll be talking to you today about model-based design. So I'll be uh, showing you a bit of what you can do with model-based and uh, I'll uh, do a tutorial so I'll explain uh, uh, what is model-based model design? So I'll talk to you uh, about the blocks within the model, and I'll show you uh, an example of a simple application that uh, can can be used as a starter point. And uh, after that, Jean Benoit, uh, a field application engineer, will show a case study of uh, no FDM uh, encoder and decoder. Uh, that uh, does a two by two MIMO. So uh, I'll begin. I'll begin. So with model based design, you can uh, generate some data within the FPGA. Uh, you can uh, do some processing within the FPGA using uh, all simple block set. And also, you can receive data to the FPG to do some pre-processing and post-processing. Uh, also, uh, you can do some co-simulation, which is uh, the transmission of data to a PC for pre-analysis and post-analysis. So basically, what what is going on is that you will generate some data into the FPG, send it to a PC, and uh, and also record it on the PC or do post analysis on the PC. So here you have a model, a MATLAB model, which is a system, uh, a MATLAB Simulink, and also it's used a Xilinx system generator to do, the, to do the processing. So you see that this is a simple window and all, this window will generate a uh, bitstream for an FPGA. So this is much more simple than doing uh, low-level stuff by writing VHDL code and uh, and uh, and all, all the low-level stuff. So with that, you can have a working uh, system with uh, much less hassle, much less problem, much less work. And uh, I'll just show you around uh, what every block does. So uh, every block has a functionality. You can connect blocks together. And with that, you can build pretty complex system. So here, this first block will uh, generate code for the process board, which is one of uh, new tag board. Uh, so this has the, the base design for the for this board to work. And it does all that automatically by just drag and dropping the block within the model. Next to it, there's the system generator block. This is the block that you could use to generate the bitstream effectively. You uh, configure it for a specific FPGA you can configure the data rate, and uh, all that is handled within the GUI of MATLAB. So now I'll explain a bit more about this demo and what it does. It does. So here you have a counter, a simple counter, and you have an enable port and an output port for the data on uh, the other side. So that, so this is a clocked using a, a design slot, which uh, is used to run the whole design. So every cycle, the counter increment by one, uh, if this counter is enabled. This data is sent to a RTDX block, which is an internet connectivity package this receive the data and stream it to an Ethernet port on the process board. So in that case, all this data can be transferred to a PC. 
The other block here is uh, our Xilinx chip scope block. So th this kind of block is used for debugging purposes. Uh, you have a trigger port and uh, input data. So in that case, you can also receive the data in the debugging tools um, and use a trigger port to trigger this reception of data. So this, this model, this whole model, is generating a ramp, and that ramp is sent through Ethernet to a PC. So also we uh, implemented uh, this design so that no data will be lost. In, in the RTDEX block, which uh, provide our Ethernet connectivity, there's uh, an input port for data, an enable port for enabling the, the sending of data, and a ready port. This uh, ready port tells, tells us if the block is ready to receive data. So we use that signal and connect it to the enable of the RTDEX and the enable of the counter block. So the, the counter will only increment if the RTDEX block is ready to receive data. That what, this is what allows us to generate the data without losing any of it. Also, uh, with this model, you can do simulation. So in that case, you will just hit the play button and you could receive the data generated by the counter within MATLAB. And after that, you will see that the same data that is uh, used in simulation is received on the PC side. So on the other end, with this demo, is um, a small um, program written with Visual Studio. So this program connect to the process board, receive the data, analyze it. It will verify the integrity. So th this is the starting point for uh, what Jean Benoit has done with his OFDM demo. We, we've started with a simple thing, and then we incremented it for a more advanced design, more complex design. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you the code in just a minute. So this simple program uh, will initialize a connection to the process board. And then, so this is only initialization stuff. And we'll key the buffer just right there. After that, we connect the process board using the Alertech API. And uh, this is a simple loop that will that transfer the data. So this RTDEX function will uh, start the process of transferring the data to the PC. And uh, once it's re it is received, it's, it is copied within a buffer. And after it, we, only, we analyze the data to verify the integrity. So we, in, if you want to add uh, another application there is pretty easy. Uh, the, the data you receive can be used to uh, to power any application. Like if you want to 
process data within the FPGA. Then you can send it to a PC application and do post processing. Uh, for example, you could uh, send it uh, to another application and and um, f do video decoding of this data and uh, and display that data. And in fact, this is what uh, we will do live today. We will uh, show you a demo with uh, that that send data to the through the air and we'll receive it uh, with the OFDM decoder and the, that the OFDM decoder will send data to architects to a PC and there's an application just like that that receives this data and displays it using a video decoder. So uh, now uh, Jean-Benoît will show you uh, his case study of uh, OFDM and how he managed to build uh, OFDM transceiver using uh, model-based design and uh, MATLAB Simulink. So, let's go.